Today on this 2017 Ford Escape, we'll be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro. That's part number TH934XTR. Back in the Old West, the hitching post was where you parked your ride. Things haven't changed much. These days, the Thule Hitching Post Pro is an excellent spot to park your four bikes. It holds your bike with three points of contact. We've got two straps going over our top tube here and one around our seat post tube. That's going to be our anti-sway strap. That's going to help prevent bike-to-bike -bike contact and bike-to-vehicle contact. You can see if we didn't have it, we'd be getting a lot more sway here. The bike's super easy to take off. You can imagine getting it on is just as easy. Go ahead and undo our straps. They're a nice solid rubber strap, which I like. You get some real elasticity to them and they really feel like they're holding your bike in place. It's going to be the same deal for all your bikes. So as I put these straps back in place, you'll notice that our cradles have grooves here and those grooves are for your bike cables and brake lines so that those don't get crushed. Now it's very common for bike racks these days to tilt away, giving you full hatch access to get out in your gear. The Hitching Post Pro is no different. You've just got a pin and clip down here. It's going to tilt down, letting you get in to your hatch to remove any gear, groceries, pets. It took longer for the hatch to go down than it's going to take for me to get this back up. Very easy to operate. Just stick that right back in, line up your holes and you're good to go again. Now you can already see this looks great on the back of your escape, but we're gonna go ahead and give you some measurements just so you can determine if it's gonna be the right fit for you. Keep this in mind when parking or pulling in the tight parking spots. This is gonna extend out a little over three feet from the rear of your escape. The closest point between our rack and the escape is actually gonna be down here and it looks like we've got about five and a half inches to this loop right here. Ground clearance for when you're going over any bumps or pulling in and out of a parking lot, garage, anything like that, it's going to be about 11 inches down here. Now you remember that pin we pulled earlier to tilt it away? There's an identical pin up here that we can pull away to tilt the rack down. This is going to be great for pulling in your garage overnight or pulling in a close quarter parking spot, parallel parking or anything where you need a little more clearance at the rear of your escape. Put that clip back in place. Get another measurement here. And it looks like now the point here is about 16 and a half inches away from the end of your escape. Ground clearance hasn't changed. Neither has our closest point. Now the rack is designed to work with your inch and a quarter or your two inch hitches. As you can see, we've got a two inch hitch here on the Escape. But the great thing about that is if you have any other hitches in the family, the spike rack may work with those as well. It secures into our hitch with an included anti-rattle bolt here. That's gonna remove all the shake, play, and wobble between our hitch and the bike rack. So it's gonna make a real solid ride for your four bikes going down the road. That ought to do it for a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro, part number TH. 934 XTR on our 2017 Ford Escape. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or an even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.